It was about as good as it gets for American University athletics. The men's soccer team was playing for the Patriot League Championship against hated rival Colgate University on AU's campus. It was an opportunity for both the team and the athletic department in general to showcase their product. Yeah, it's always great to host. And if you're hosting in our league, in the Patriot League, that means that you've won the regular season and you finished number one throughout the regular season. So it was certainly a great opportunity to, for the community to rally around the team. But when the big day came, the crowd wasn't as big as you would have hoped. I think it could be better. Um, I think that people don't show up for the events. I think it's kind of disappointing, actually. The more you have people you have in the arena, the, the better they feel. Is the better it is for the support of the coaches and student athletes, and and it just brings everyone together around a rallying point that we think athletics can be for American universities. One of the nice things is you can see a lot of the athletic teams are here to support the other athletes, but it would be nice if the student body was here, um, and it really doesn't seem like there's a whole lot. The small stands at Reeves Field were full, but the crowd was mostly parents and alumni. It, some of it is that people who come here tend to be a lot more into like politics than sports. But perhaps the student body just isn't interested in the sports AU has. The Eagles are traditionally powerhouses in field hockey and volleyball, but not as competitive in more mainstream sports. It's one of the challenges the athletic department faces every day. We don't focus on what we don't have, we focus on what we do have. And I would hope others would do that as well because we have great stories, great coaches. Um, you know, our volleyball team just won the regular season championship, had the coach of the year, player of the year, and rookie of the year in one, in one student, as well as the scholar athlete of the year. I mean, that doesn't happen um, regularly, and that's something that I think everybody can embrace. It's something that people want to be engaged with because I think once somebody comes back to campus, whether it be an alum or someone who lives in the neighborhood or a faculty or staff member at the end of their day comes out to Bender Arena and sees um, these talented students and coaches uh, competing for the university and then also all the fun things that we try to do in and around the game to engage them, I feel like they're going to come back. For District Wire News, I'm Zach Drescher. Oh